Yes, no, coffee in the morning, it's perfect. For the rest of the day, I prefer wine. How about you? And we have a, a really successful and delicious wine industry in Arizona. But boy, they've been doing it in Southern California a lot longer. And I'd like to introduce you to somebody who knows a great deal about that part of Southern California that I love to say. Temecula, yeah, it's just this funny, funny word, uh, Devon Parr, uh, that's not a funny word, that's a name for the ambassador to the Temecula Valley Wine Growers Association, and uh, we're delighted to have you here with us. Uh, De Devon, a lot of folks move to the west from someplace else, they don't have any idea where the Temecula Valley is, so help us out. Sure. So I love to say Temecula too. And my husband and I joke because we're trying to start the trend of saying Temecula, you betula. And it hasn't caught on yet, but we're really working on it. Uh, so Temecula Valley is Southern California's wine country. We always associate uh, wine country with Northern California. And yet there's this really exciting region uh, about an hour Northeast of San Diego, um, about an hour and a half from Los Angeles, hour from Orange County, so really centrally located region in Southern California called the Temecula Valley. So Devin, what kind of wines do we find uniquely in that area? I would say what kind of wines don't you find in that area? Um, it's got a Mediterranean-like climate. So really warm, sunny days that are cooled by ocean breezes that come in through gaps in the mountain. And this creates, again, this Mediterranean climate where tons of grapes thrive. Typical grapes we would find in Spain, parts of France, Italy, Portugal. So if you love Italian wines, you love Spanish wines, you love Portuguese wines or Rhone style wines, you're going to find those in Temecula Valley. Wow. Grapes like Sangiovese, Syrah, Tempranillo, but also classics like Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Merlot, Zinfandel, you name it, we've got it. It sounds as if the climates uh, and the, the uh, weather changes haven't affected you as they've affected so many of those European areas that you were talking about. Yeah, you know, climate changes is a big deal and it is pretty warm in Temecula, but again, we're about 22 miles as the crow flies from the Pacific Ocean. Again, these gaps in the mountain ranges keep the nights cool, the mornings cool, afternoons breezy, which uh, creates this ideal environment for growing grapes. All right, so if I come to Temecula Valley, and don't be surprised if I wind up there tomorrow, tell me what <laughs> else, tell me what else I can do with that beautiful climate you have. Well, right, it's the perfect climate for growing grapes. It's the perfect climate for vacationing. Um, so not only can you find incredible world-class wineries, passionate winemakers, passionate winery staff, but also really fun activities like yoga among the vines, wellness activities among the vines, uh, horseback riding, hot air balloon rides. We've got wineries with um, so many unique activities like blending labs where you can actually become a winemaker for a day and make your own wine. Uh, there's a winery called Dofa Winery where they have an on-site vintage motorcycle collection. Oh. So there's really something to do for everyone. Wow, it just sounds like a very, very active place. But I also happen to know that there are people who are embarrassed because they are not wine knowledgeable and uh, and so they they're hesitant about going into a professional place uh, like a vineyard uh, or a wine tasting place because they think well I sh I'm supposed to know what to ask for what about at Temecula I think that's one of the things that really defines the region is it's so approachable it's so welcoming and friendly um, there's enough there to satisfy really hardcore wine enthusiasts, and there are knowledgeable people who can give barrel samples and um, really talk wine geeky stuff. But then there's this great <laughs> welcoming vibe that is you know, synonymous with Southern California, and that's what makes the region so special. You're never gonna feel like you don't belong. Along with Temecula, it's a fun word to say, wine geeky is also something I've left with. How do we get more information, Derek? Sure, you can head to the Wine Growers Associ Association website, and that's TemeculaWines.org. And then visit Temecula Valley, the Convention and Visitors Bureau also has great information about where to stay, uh, places like Old Town, the casino at Pachanga. Um, so tons of information there, and that's visit TemeculaValley.com.
And when you do accept that invitation and you go, just know that as soon as the door opens to any of those marvelous places, you say, Devin Parr sent me. I was on the Daily Mix in Arizona. De Devin Parr. Devin Parr, yes. Look me up at the SoCal Wine Gal on Instagram. And don't forget to help me start this Temecula You Betula. Uh, it, <laughs> it's going to be a can, thing, I promise. You can use that as you walk in. <laughs> Right, yes. Temecula, Ubetula, and uh, they won't throw you out. Thank you, Devin. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Sip some wine this morning. I won't judge.